Hey guys, Stavin here, playing some Pauper Red Black Control. Uh, we lost the dice roll, we don't get to go first. Opening hand seems fair. We'll hold on to it. Opponent went down to six. Um, we're going to turn one of Evolving Wilds. Uh, we're going to hold up Terminate on turn two, but I doubt we use it. Opponent put his card to the bottom. Opponent plays a Mountain and Goblin. Okay. Goblin Cohort. So we're playing against Goblins. Uh, we're definitely going to need our removal spells. I think we're going to start off with an Evolving Wilds. Crack it into a Swamp. Yeah. And pass the turn. Um, Read the Bones is going to be pretty bad in this matchup because he's uh, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. So they're probably going to get boarded out pretty quickly. Opponent doesn't play a land. Doesn't play a creature, so he can't attack. Oh my. Evan Carr's Justice is really good because it's going to hit almost all of his goblins. I think we're just going to play a mountain here and pass. And we'll probably end up terminating the cohort. Hmm, maybe. Depends on what he plays, really. He didn't lightning bolt me there. He drew his second land, plays the mountain. Burning Tree Emissary. All right. He makes some mana. Well, it looks like this isn't just straight up goblins, unless I don't think goblins is playing Burning Tree Emissary these days. Well, there's a Mudwater Cohort. All right. Um, do I want to terminate the Goblin Cohort? I don't know. The Evan Car's Justice in two turns is going to take a lot of things out. But I think I am going to go ahead and terminate the Cohort here. Actually, what should I terminate? Because the Cohort can only attack if he plays a creature. This thing can attack every turn. I think we should probably kill the Mud Water or Mud Brawler. Because he's not guaranteed to draw a creature each turn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just terminate that guy. We'll take two here. I think Evan Carr's Justice is going to do a lot of work. But that's still two turns away. But in a way, that's okay. Because that's going to make him draw or play more creatures. Ooh, Blightning. I think I may use Blightning here. I'm going to use Blightning because he has cards in his hand. Because he's going to be playing a lot of cards. So I want to get full value while I can here. What's he discard? He's going to go down to one card in hand. That's pretty good. So next turn, depending on what he plays... I may use Evancar's Justice, or I may use Read the Bones. He discarded Hillcutter and Fire Blast. Okay. So he's got two cards in his hand. Hopefully he plays, like, um, both creatures. Hopefully they're both one-drops. He plays them, and I can blow them away with Evancar's Justice. But he doesn't play them. He goes to combat, attacks in for two. So do I want to use Evan Carr's Justice just for this, or do I want to wait? 
I kind of want to wait. I don't. I wonder what's in his hand. Blightning would be a great draw here. Um, I could play Angler. I have enough to do that. Let's do that. Let's just play an Angler here. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that seems fine. Hold back his creatures. And then that way, even if I use Evancar's Justice, my Angler will, st will live through that. Opponent plays a mountain. Two cards in his hand still. Kind of wish he'd just play them. I don't think they're going to be low drop creatures though. Hill cutter. All right. So he's going to get in for seven, and I can't block. Um, I think I am going to use Evan Car's Justice here, or on my next turn. Yep, I cannot block. Alright, I go down to nine. So, pressure is starting to build. Um, hmm. That hill cutter's annoying. Kind of wish I still had my terminate for that. Do I want to use justice here? I'll read the bones to dig for a kill spell. I think I want to use justice. I might as well attack because the hill cutter. Wait a minute. The hill cutter. Multiple things have to attack, right? Multiple things have to attack. Let me check. Okay, no, it's just when he attacks. So I can't block anyway, so I might as well go ahead and attack in. Alright, and we'll use Evan Carr's Justice here. Alright, pass the turn. We're really looking for a kill spell for that hill cutter. Should have saved terminate for that hill cutter. I didn't know he was playing it, but still. Maybe the terminate was a little preemptive. My read the bones are becoming quite bad. He's on a two-turn clock, too, though. So if he spends his whole time playing Hill Cutter, he'll do three to me. Take me down to four. I'll do five to him. Take him down to five. Okay. All right, I really need to kill spell. Um... I think I may use Read the Bones to try and find a kill spell. Mm. Ooh, there's one. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm not going to use Read the Bones because I don't want to get in range of Bolt. So I'm just going to attack, pass the turn, and... Hope for him to just spend his turn playing Hill Cutter and I'll bolt it. Let's take a look at my sideboard. We're going to be bringing in our second Justice. 
Um, Duress, I don't think, is going to be very good. He's playing Goblin Cohort. All right. Hopefully no second creature. Oh, okay. No second creature. All right, so then we just bolt the Cohort, and that should be game. That, that should do it, unless he's got some shenanigans here. What's he doing? Lightning bolting me, okay. That's kind of spooky. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and attack. The suspense is killing me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I get nervous when people don't just scoop because it's like, it makes me feel like they have an answer. But really, they're just, you know, making me do it. And that's fine. I'm cool with that. Okay, so taking out Read the Bones. Knight's Whisper isn't that great either, actually. I wonder if I can... Evan Card's Justice is pretty good. Uh. Oh my gosh, I gotta bring in seven cards? Maybe I will keep something here. Let's see. What is good? Chainer's Edict's not bad. Look, Trickery's not that great. Most of his stuff has two power or, tough, or uh, two toughness or more. Um, maybe I may use like one Read the Bones here. Um, how good is Duress? It can't be that great. He mostly has creatures. He maybe has like a playset of Bolt and that's about it. Hmm. I guess we could bring in a Stone Rain. I guess, I don't know. I don't have much against Goblins, do I? Maybe Wonderest just to see his hand. Hmm. I guess we'll just bring in Read the Bones. Well, let's actually, let's take out one Read the Bones for a Knight's Whisper. We'll run it back like that. I don't like playing uh, um, both Read the Bones and Knight's Whisper against an aggro deck like this. But I don't really have much more to even bring in. Uh, this hand's pretty good. Three removal spells. We'll keep this. Opponent keeps his seven. Probably a turn one goblin here. Whoa! No turn one? Goes to his main phase two. There, there's no way. Oh. Wow! That's crazy! Well, since we don't have to do turn one removal, I guess I'll just use Evolving Wilds. Crack it for a mountain. Alright, pass the turn. Opponent plays a mountain. I can't believe he didn't have a turn one. That's insane. Valley Dasher. 2-2, two, two, Hasty. Alright. Probably just gonna do Evolving Wilds, Lightning Bolt here. I kinda, I really want to kill that Dasher, so I need to remember to keep something up for that. Um, we'll get a Swamp here. And do I want a Flame Slash? Or save the, I want to save the lightning bolt for the dasher, maybe? Yeah, I think I want to do that. Let's just flame slash. Save the lightning bolt for the dasher. We're going to blightning next turn. Kind of happy he played a land there. Stone rain was a terrible thing to bring in. But... I don't know. I, I don't like playing too many draw spells because of the life loss. 
But I think Blightning is going to be great. There's the Hill Cutter. So... Uh, we're still going to play the Blightning next turn, though, I think. Should I? Should I just Lightning Bolt the Hill Cutter? He may cast it. What if he doesn't cast the next turn? Then I pretty much wasted my turn. How, I mean, his hand has to be bad, right? For him to just be using Hill Cutters like this? Hmm. wonder if I should make him discard. Chainer's Edict. Sorcery Speed. That... That's unfortunate. Um, Blightning or Lightning Bolt? Blightning or Lightning Bolt? I think I'm going to hold up Lightning Bolt. Because, I don't know, I feel like he doesn't have much in his hand. I kind of want him to play another land. Because I don't want him discarding lands. I want him discarding uh, gas. He has six cards in his hand. Alright, yeah, another land. Okay, he's got five cards. Bushwhacker kicked. Alright. Bushwhacker kicked with no other goblins? Doesn't seem like very great value, does it? What's this? Another bushwhacker. Alright. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to kill these or save the kill spell for the hill cutter? It'd be more mana efficient to kill both. I really, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna bolt one. Well, I guess I could be mana efficient. Terminate one. Chainers, no, next turn I'm gonna go blightning for sure. Next turn I think I'm gonna go blightning and lightning bolt. So this turn, I think I'm just going to use Terminate and save Lightning Bolt. Yeah, that seems good. And then hopefully Lightning Bolt the Hill Cutter. Yeah. So yeah, this I'm going to Terminate. Then on my turn, play uh, play the swamp, lightning. Hold up, lightning bolt, lightning bolt the hill cutter, and we'll go from there. Okay, he's going to combat. All right, he's hacking in with both. Uh, we got a three-one and a two-one. We're gonna terminate the three-one, of course. Terminate the three-one, and then it'll go over to us. We'll take two. We're gonna take another one from it next turn. All right, play the swamp and blightning. See what he discards. Uh, hopefully not the hill cutter. I want him to cast the hill cutter and uh, me bolt it. And then we may, able, may be able to route our pouncer to victory. The 5-1. Discard Oh, okay, he's casting Fire Blast. Okay. 
So he's gonna be he's gonna discard his whole hand then. Which I I mean I'm I can understand that. He wanted to get the he wanted to get the value off the the firebolt. Or the uh, fire blast, rather. So, do I lightning bolt this bushwhacker? I don't think so. What's this? Another bushwhacker. Um. Okay. I think I'll. I think I'm gonna lightning bolt the this bushwhacker here. Yeah, they're both two ones. I'm going to lightning bolt one of them. Then I'll make him sacrifice the other one. Lightning bolt. Alright. So he's down to a 1-1. One, one. Uh, yep, Bloodfall Caves is good. It means we're one land away from playing our Pouncer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make him sacrifice that and pass the turn. So hopefully we draw land and we can just start pouncing him. He draws a land. What do we get? Ooh, we get a, a mountain. Nice. Alright, play the Pouncer. Tag in for five. Pass the turn. Uh, Foundry Street Denizen. I'm going to Flame Slash that. Unless I draw a land. If I draw a land, oh man. Then I could flash back uh, Chainer's Edict. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and Flame Slash this. I want to get in for the 5 damage. And I'll crack this for a Swamp. That way I'll have Chainer's Edict mana. Alright. Go to Combat. Get in for 5. Pass the turn. So if he plays a creature next turn, then I can just change his edict. Hopefully he doesn't draw like a lightning bolt or something like that. Drew a mountain. Alright. Let's go ahead and attack. We'll hold this swamp in our hand here. Alright, what's he got? Alright. That should be game then. I think we can make him sacrifice that. So, we should have it. So we'll go Chainer's Edict. And that should be it. I really like this deck. Um, it definitely needs work, especially the sideboard. Uh, I need to tune it a bit. I don't think I should play Read the Bones and Knight's Whisper for starters. I guess my just love for drawing cards in colors other than blue gets the best of me sometimes. But that'll do it. Uh, if you guys like the deck, if you want to see more of it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know, because the decks that get the most attention is the ones that I will most likely be uh, playing the most. haven't played this deck in a while, though, so I thought I would shake the dust off and make a fresh video of it. If you guys have any ideas on how I can make the deck better, comment below and let me know. Thanks, and have a great day.